Hi folks, HR Funk back out on the range with my Llama Max 1 pistol chambered for the 38 Super cartridge. If you saw my original video review of this pistol, you already know that I had several failures to feed with multiple different kinds of ammunition with this pistol right out of the box. Now, as I mentioned in that video, I did not clean or lubricate the pistol prior to bringing it out to the range. I basically drove out to the range, took the pistol out of the box, loaded it up and started shooting. And pretty much immediately, as in the very first shot that I fired, I had a failure to feed from the magazine in this pistol. Now, in an effort to try to remedy this problem myself, I went back home, I thoroughly cleaned the pistol, and I properly lubricated it. So I'm out here today to see if it's going to run reliably now that I've taken those steps. Now, I must say at this point, I really don't have high expectations that this is going to cure the problem. I am strongly suspecting that what I'm experiencing is a magazine-related issue. And although this pistol was supposed to ship with two magazines, when it arrived, it only had one. Now, I've got another magazine from the manufacturer that's inbound, and if I continue to have problems today, my next step is going to be to wait until that magazine arrives and try it and see if it functions any better in the pistol than the one that came with it. Now, ultimately, I was already planning on replacing the factory magazines in this pistol with some Wilson Combat magazine. But, that being said, even with a bargain price 1911 like the Llama Max 1, by the way, I think I'm pronouncing that wrong. I think it's properly pronounced Yama. In any regard, even with a bargain price 1911, I think it should function with the factory supplied magazines. I think at, at very least it should function with those magazines. So I am going to try it out today. I'm going to see if the cleaning and lubrication has helped the situation any. And if not, we'll wait for the next magazine to arrive. And after that, if I'm still having issues, it's going back to Metro Arms to see if they can correct the problem. Okay, folks, here we go. I've got one round of Fiocchi 129 grain full metal jacket ammunition loaded in the chamber. Another nine rounds in the magazine. Let's see how they run. Well, I hate to say it, but that's the first full magazine that this pistol has ever cycled. Maybe I did some good with that cleaning and lubrication. Okay, folks, deja vu all over again. I've got the pistol loaded back up. Again, one round in the chamber, nine rounds in the magazine. Let's see if we can go two for two. Two full magazines, folks. <laughs> 20 rounds without a hitch. I didn't come anywhere close to that before. I didn't go more than maybe five or six rounds without a malfunction. There's 20. Well, let's see if we can make it three for three. I'm going to give you a close-up view this time. Well, <laughs> I hate to say it, folks, that's all the ammunition I brought with me today. I really didn't expect the pistol to run that well. I fully expected I was going to continue to get those failures to feed, so I just brought out the rest of that box of Fiocchi, which was, uh, I think, 35 rounds. And that's what I just ran through it, and it ran through all of them without a hitch. So <laughs> maybe, just maybe, that cleaning and lubrication did the trick. I will continue shooting this pistol. I'll get the rest of the ammunition back out here and I want to get set up to hand load it and I'm going to continue to monitor it and I'll continue bringing you folks along and we'll see how well it continues to run. By the way, if anyone's interested, my top secret lube that I use on all my semi-auto firearms is nothing than Mobile One synthetic motor oil and it does a fabulous job. It's recommended for armorers by Smith & Wesson. It's recommended by H&K. I believe it's recommended by Colt. 
recommended by a lot of people and it really does a good job. If that's what solved this problem, then I'm very glad that I won't have to send this pistol back, but I'm still a little bit skeptical, so I'm just gonna keep an eye on it and see how it goes. So anyway, that's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed this one much better than the last time I came out with this pistol. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those below. And as always, until next time, good shooting. Bye-bye.